Welcome back to your balanced diet of television. Now, time for us to meet these Kaja's um, young champs. Now, people will be saying they don't decide to invest their time, their money, and everything into um, the real estate sector, not just in Nigeria and even for inside um, Accra, Ghana. They will tell us more on why this passion actually come up in the first place. Um, but make, it make I tell you people where I get for inside the studio. We get um, Zara Feya and um, Emeka Undukwe. And they, both of them, are the CEO and CMO of Co-Founding. Now, Co-Founding are a prop tech startup based in Nigeria and Ghana, and they just raised seed funding for MES. Good to have you in the house. Happy to Thank be here. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Now, Zara, let me speak with you. Okay. First of all, tell me, how this passion for real estate they actually come up? So, in my family, real estate and gold, anyway, because I'm from the Gambia, is... Okay quite a big thing. So growing up, I always thought it would be a long-term thing. I would grow up, then get into real estate. Then after I left uni, I studied law. Then after I left university, I got headhunted by a real estate company. And then I thought to myself, oh, I always wanted to get into this real estate thing anyway. Why not start now? So that's how I started getting into real estate. I realized I was quite good at selling land, selling property. Mm -hmm. And then the passion for it grew as I was there. And so I kind of stayed in that. Um, since then, and that was about six years ago. Mm, nice. So, Undukwe, tell me. Uh, for me, na, you know, say na, for Nigeria, one of the best, biggest problems we will get for here, you know, how a person could take fine house, where he could take leave, you mm -hmm. understand? So, and me, I don't get passion to they solve real, real problems where people, you know, normal Nigerians, they get. So, when I've been go messed, I can't they think, waiting I go do, we go make, you know, impact for people. Like, we go make impact on my own life, personally. Waiting I for like, see, to say, na, I'll be user. So, I think, come make me decide, say, this is not waiting I go do with my Mm. Now, one of the basic needs where man actually need in a housing. Now, we don't say for inside we'll be doing Nigeria, owning an apartment, it'd be like saying now only for the rich. You have to be, person where they say you get millions of naira for you to actually own a property. Now, I see say you and people where they say you are um, involved in ourselves for inside crowdfunding in the real estate sector. Um, tell us more about it. So, as it stands now, if person want to build a house for Nigeria, either you go bank and people they fear to go bank for money. Either you go one big man or the other. So we can't see I'm saying people they work, people they make money, and people won't put their money inside something where they go use, you know, multiply their money one way or the other. So it can't occur to us say if you bring plenty of people together, gather their money, can't use and build house. You must sell the house because Nigerians need where to live. So once you sell the house, everybody will put money together, go can see where they go um, get their profit from. So for us now just to leverage on power of you know the crowd of people where they're around. Zara, explain more to me concerning this crowdfunding and who fear actually buy into and which people fear actually decide, say, okay, I want to bring money inside to actually invest for inside the property. Okay, so the reason for the crowdfunding idea actually started when we realized that it's very difficult for people to be able to invest in real estate on their own. Yeah. So we thought at the very least you could be a co-owner of a real estate project or you could say you're a co-owner of a house or a unit whatever the case may be so then we thought why can't we just bring a pool of people together pool of investors together and they can start making um, returns and sharing a profit and still say that they're co-owners of, mm. of a property so that's how the crowdfunding started and like how much would they actually look at now because we have a minimum wage thirty thousand for example in nigeria and yet we are still deliberating on it so which class of people now they actually target so we're targeting middle income earners. Um, it's because the vast majority of people can't afford the real estate like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Like you need to earn quite a lot in order to be able to. And we want it to be accessible to even the middle income earners. And so that's why we're targeting them. So anyone who earns maybe between 100 and anyone who earns above 150,000 naira or maybe even sometimes below will be able to invest in, in co-funding. And I guess you'll get a project for inside Ghana. Yes. So tell us about that too. Mm, a single family unit for Ghana. We Primary material on a ramp earth. Ramp earth is a mixture of mold, cement, and binding agents. So, um, when we, we debut that map, but when, uh, not just very small house, you understand, for very small family. But once we finish them, um, the, the price could be very affordable, and then when we sell them, um, everybody will be in contribute, go fit, share for the profits. And how people feel actually contribute? Um, so, we get websites, okay. um, cofundi.com, C O F U N D I E. Mm -hmm. Then across all social media will be cofundi, C O F U N D I E. Mm. Tell us about this seed fund you want to receive from us. Let me let No, Zara, tell me. <laughs> okay, so um, 
the way MEST works is that it's an entrepreneurial program. It's, te it's tech related. So whatever business idea that you, you come up with, it has to be at least tech enabled. So you get into the program, you start coming up with business ideas, they trash the business idea, you come up with more, so they teach you tech, so programming, coding, business, and communications as well, because um, you can have the best tech that you want, but if you don't know how to relate to people, then there's no point, because it's people who buy into your business, not machines who mm -hmm. buy into your business. And then at the end of the year, prior to graduating, you get to pitch your business idea, and if Mess likes your business idea and sees it as profitable, then they fund your business, and we got funded um, in, August. So mm, in August, oh, very nice one. So, how would you rate the real estate sector for inside Wibodo, Nigeria? Because now I see Sewana they operate for both Ghana and Nigeria. How would you rate the real estate sector in Nigeria and both in Ghana? So, in Nigeria is a little bit skewed in Nigeria. Mm. So, the vast majority of you know the luxury buildings, the new buildings are coming up. They are being directed towards you know, people in the upper class, exactly. and that's a problem. When the vast majority of people in Nigeria are from middle to low income. Mm -hmm. So it's, and it's funny enough, it's a very, very similar thing you'll see across the whole of West Africa, mm. both in Nigeria and in Ghana, which is sort of a, And that's a big problem, no, really. It's a, it's a huge problem. And that's a, currently there's a housing crisis in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. um, there's a deficit of around 20 million yes, units annually. Right? Mm -hmm. So this tells you that for us to even mitigate every year, we need to build 20 million units. And that just actually tells you that you cannot build 20 million units with the current existing system, which is why there's a need for creative ideas to solve some of these problems. Mm, I really like that. That's why you need to actually um, learn more concerning with it. Co-Foundy, they actually do. Give them your website again, please. Co-Foundy.com, C-O-F-U-N-D-I-E.com. So learn more and invest wisely. Real estate now, some way we say if you invest into RAM um, in... in Less period of time, you go actually they reap uh, which you do actually invest into this particular um, sector. Any other word that you want to actually give? We also have an Instagram page, which is also okay. CoFundy. So we're CoFundy right across on everywhere, Facebook, Twitter. Um, we also have a newsletter because we understand that it's something that's quite new and people may not fully understand it or comprehend what it is. So once you Google us, you'll also have access to our newsletter. And the good thing is that we don't actually use traditional materials. We use non-traditional materials like rammed earth, like prefabricated buildings, which has a shorter build time. All right, so you see I'm saying that they're on top of every platform and they did there to actually give you the right information. So follow them on top of Instagram, follow them on top of Twitter, follow their website and then um, um, register for the newsletter and then you're going to receive plenty of information consigning um, their activities. Thank you so much um, to Zaza. Thank um, you. You're from Gambia, right? Yes, you I'm said from so. the Gambia. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, Zara, Zara, sorry, Zara Feya and Emeka um, Undukwe. I actually want to try to avoid this question, but I see people behind the scene. They don't go allow me rest. No. There is someone behind the scene that is very interested in knowing how the um, Gambia food delicacy be. And <laughs> wait, <laughs> is it you? You've been to Nigeria a couple of times, right? It's my first time. Oh, your first time in Nigeria? Yeah, hey, first yeah. Time. You don't enjoy our food? Oh, yes. Okay, so. Can we, can we just try, just small, let's just try and measure Gambia food and Nigeria food? We're not talking, I'm not saying you tell me we show a good parcel. Let's just measure it. We're going to measure. Yes. So out of 10? Uh, yes. Let's do that. I think I would give Nigerian food like 7.5. Okay, and then give? Gambia a good 9. <laughs> Before I go, what do I expect behind this scene? Before I go. <laughs> Which of the Nigerian food did I actually chop? Wow. I've oh, had nice. amala, pounded yam, efo, riro. There's the other stew I can't quite remember with amala, biguri, suya, which is my favorite. Okay. What else have I chopped? Pepper soup. Ah, you never really chop now. So I no know. wonder. <laughs> Are you mad? So we are really good. Jala. <laughs> so well, many small, different things. That's small things that you don't chop. Now you give us 7.5. Ah, we're good. 7.5 is great. Ah, then you, because you're not eating anything. Then. What else is there? Ah, ah. okay, you're not doing well then. You're not doing well. Yeah, this is our first time. Don't worry. Should I not chop people food? Are you kidding me? I should not chop a goosey now. Yes. Chop no, a goosey. A goosey is everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so then let's talk about jollof rice. Oh. Jollof rice in Gambia and then jollof rice in Nigeria. Ours is better. Before, I don't understand. What did <laughs> I expect? Have you, have you tried Gambian jollof rice? I haven't. You have to. Okay. 
So, behind the scene, and then, by the way, they watch. If you want to try Gambia Jellof, please go to Gambia and then try it. And then come outside and let us know yes, which please. one actually good part. Yeah. But still, they tell you, say, they're very important for you to invest wisely, invest in real estate. For you to learn more concerning waiting this card that people they do, just follow them on top of their website. Just search them again. Cofundi.com, C-O-F-U-N-D-I-E.com. All right. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you for having us. To enjoy more of these our Ogonga videos when you just watch, Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.